A nine year old boy, today I'll show you how to make part 17 of Super Mario. Just before we start, as always, just save your project as a new copy to ensure that if you get something wrong, nothing will happen to your project. You can just code this episode up again. Okay, today we're going to be adding the Koopa, the Koopas, Troopas, like the green and red, both of them. Like these two, like on the enemy spread. First, drag the like the file, like costume file that's a green Koopa's first costume to time spread. We're not gonna try costume seven for the red Koopa's first costume because we're not gonna do that yet. Because if you don't even hang out the green Koopa's, how are you supposed to do the red Koopa's? And the enemy sprite, zoom out and press Control A, Command plus A or Control plus A, like. Matters about which kind of type of computer you have. Well, is it? Can I do control? A? Oh, I can. Then the press the up arrow key four times. One. Wait, I'm just going to recenter it because I just it's like moved by itself. One, two, three, four. Now next thing. Next thing we're gonna do. And now go back into the code and go to the enemy sprite. We first need to like basically like code says the Koopa appears on screen. Just before we do, just go to the editor's bar and edit the tile key map list. Key map, key map. Then on uh, for number six, add a new row of number sixty nine. Type nice into still enemy costume. Hide the list and go back in the enemy spot. Locate the define. Uh, spawn type. Where is the spawn type? Oh, here. And then duplicate the last if and check if type equals 69. And set type to Koopa. Uh, for the red, uh, you can as, as well as head to green Koopa. So later it's gonna be red Koopa. I'll just cause. Copy the costume number on the set type, and the costume is 5, the width is 16, and the height is 24. Taller than the Goomba, but shorter than the Piranha. This is too long. Uh, I'm gonna put it to zero volume. Press the zero, and I'm just gonna do level 5. And now you should see these. Your level, and go to a place you want to play standing for a Koopa. Then you should see like the Koopa always faces the player. That's good. Wait, what? Why is all my piranhas over there? Here. When did I do that? Did it like change like that? Well, like, just sorry, I don't know why, what's happening. Yep, it's going, going, great. Ooh. Now if you can, like, place, like, do something like Koopa Patrols or... Well, it's gonna be good to have your Koopa. It's actually, if you do a long row, you just see if we move to, and then like see, uh, keep on like immediately switch direction to the other direction. So, pretty neat. But anyways, let's continue coding the Koopas. 
The Koopa shell is going to be sim similar to the Goomba, so just want to locate the defined take Goombas. Actually, no. Locate the defined when I receive move enemy. Now, locate the defined when I receive move enemy in the enemy sprite. And then do, I was like, yeah, duplicate. Basically, like here, we like in charge, like do all the enemy scripts, like their custom blocks. Just duplicate the one that is tight equals to Goomba. And put it down there. Down and check if type equals green Koopa, Koopa with the capsule G and K as we did. So that if you copy it, that would be good. And we can use that we use like the same script as the. So like the tick tick good bug. We could have i will just actually I'm gonna change it to or because it looks nonsense to see two Now go locate the define tick good bus and also scroll down And you should see like the two here that set costing is like change only changing it to two plus the bottom two. We needed to do it for the Koopas too. We could have just used the if else, but we could make a new variable also. So this is basically where the Goomba it's under a tick Goomba. So make a new variable and name it root costing. I might be typing fast, but for this part only. And I put root costing in place of the two. And now we have to find the define spawn type that's over here. And also define spawn type like these are like the custom block set type. So locate this and find set type now. So I just you see why I unconnected one GC because I don't really like it. It's not like that's so spawning good but and you should see now under here we have like the I go back at spawn type and we have the root costing of five. But now go to the define sp set type. And then right after it said costume, set root costume to costume. Oh, uh, where's the root costume? Where's the root costume? Oh, over here. I put it under. And now if you set to see, like, like you just see, like, the root, like, if the, like, it's Koopas, it will, like, it will be five for the root costume. But if it's Goombas, it will be two, so... It's like you can control without an if else, so you don't need like double blocks of mill of that. So, yeah, it's gonna be useful later. Also, now go locate the divine back. Back now, you can actually test, not just back. Oh my god. And now, if I just actually, I just want to place it here. Let me keep up. One and yeah, I should see that Koopa and 30 when it hits like a not two blocks, not like the Goomba that goes through a block. Now, if we try to squish it, oh, it turns into a squish Goomba as you see now. It's like basically Koopas, but squish Goomba, but like Koopa shaped Goombas. That's basically what's now. But we'll fix that in a moment. First, as you see, also the like, when they get squished, like the uh, you can slow like if you can't see it properly, you can just slow the video down. But anyways, like it it just turns into a squished Goomba. But it also it's not on the it's not in the like the 
It's not on the ground properly like the regular book. Compare this. Is that? Oops. Is that? And the Koopa. You must see it's not on the floor properly. But compare better one because that, like, that Koopa is only on the edge. So that's. So now you see Koopas and the Koopas. Like it just hangs around a little. Hands around. So yeah. We should really get some tea ready right now. Now, like as you see before, like the Koopas are squishing, are like getting to a squish Goombas. And you know why? Because like in the tick Goomba, when they get squished over here, it said type to squish. That's not important. But the most important is that gum. It said costume to Goomba squish. It never checked if it's a Koopa or a. Uh, or a Goomba, so it always switches to the Goomba as we coded before. Um, like there's after this video, you should like if you want, like you can add the paratroopas. It's not that hard except they're flying and they move their legs on ground and they can fly. So yeah. And for the last episode, like, I forgot, you can add the Venus fire trap. Like, you can add some, like, when they just go up and down, like, regularly. But if you want a challenge, you can shoot these flame balls. As we're going to add them in episode 19, so Mario shoots, like, the fire power up. But anyways, go, let's get back to business. On 26 to 20 to 33, you should use these, these Cooper shells. But 26 to 29 is the green ones, and 30 to 33 is the red ones. Like this, one, two, three, four. Four animation costumes for both of the shells. The green polka, now let's go back in the coat. And go check the take a bomb. We're also going to move into some free space. But he's just getting a lot in our way. Like I'm just gonna go up very oh my god. Just wait like some time because I need just sorry why I need to just like move to take a bus. I swear. Around. Uh is it good? Yes, I can code as much as I want. Now Uh, just like really like the stick Goomba, we reuse the custom block so that we can like it's basically safe for movement, but not the shells. So, yeah, that's basically like for like this stick Goomba. You, but actually now I actually found it's for Koopas and Goombas. I'm gonna actually edit the name and do Goombas slash. Koopas. Cause slash red red ver red Koopas. It's basically the version red Koopas. Yeah. Is it now longer now the custom block? So yeah. Just basically I changed the name of it, but that's a real different. So now Check out the, like, the, is we really, like, for this talking time, you can just pause the video and examine the Koopa Shell costume that you have. And now, continue under the Tikumba slash Koopa slash Red Koopa. We're really going to keep calling it Tikumba. So it's easier. Okay, here, in the if Mar it's touching Mario, and if else, Bob White Mario grades an empty value, in the set costume to Goomba Squish, like drag it if else. And then like basically we have to like yeah, drag it if else and surround the like the set costume. Is it just the set costume? Yeah. And put an equal sign on top in the if else. Drag if type if like type equals 
Goomba. Just gonna copy. Uh, I'm just gonna actually write it. Goomba. Goomba. Yep. And then you have to set. And for set type, you have to surround actually set type to squish and set costume to Goomba, like the to Goomba squish. And also set player bounce and put it on the top of the if else. And then yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you can arrange it like this, like that. That's what we are supposed to do. And put it, keep it, put it back in the script. If you're done, oops, I accidentally you have to put it below the if else. Now in the else. You can put like set you put you could have put a set type to Koopa Shell, Red Koopa Shell or anything. But remember we're supposed to add the red Koopa, not just uh, the green Koopa. So we have to add another if else in the L, so sorry. Or am I taking oh here it is. Oh what? no, not here. When you find my take Goomba so we're back on so we're here. Up here, and then put it in the else. For the else, check if type equals green Koopa. Just copy the green Koopa Koopas everywhere because to this day, I said to set type to how about green Koopa shell? Uh, green Koopa shell. Now copy the new one since you will need them later. I know you can, if you don't want to add the red Koopa, just do Koopa Shell. But I'm going to do it for green Koopa Shell so I can explain which one is which so you don't get mixed up. So that costume to... Uh, wait, I'm just going to check the costume. The costume is Koopa Shell G1. That's funny. Or just... Um, just to... 26. Yeah. And then set height to where's the height variable? Set height to fifteen. And now if we like test mm, nothing really exciting right now, but if you squish a coupon it will just, oh, uh, maybe later. If you squish a Koopa, the shell gets into a shell, but also it, it, like, it doesn't like, but anyway, just, first just find the weather is the move enemy. I know we are just getting everywhere. And now check if, what, where's my Koopa? Oh, here, it's, it's like a duplicate. Sorry, but I. It's like an or, or a check if. Type equals green coop equals. Equals green Koopa. Shell. And then instead of the. Tick. Life. We need to make a new custom block and name it Tick Koopas. At least Tick Koopa shells. Shells. So, red slash green. That's going to be. And row without screen rush. Since we're adding both. And put that block here. Koopa shell green and red or whatever. Since we finished the block, maybe you want to, like, if the type is, I'm just going to, the type, the type has to be the same for every enemy, or you will just have, or you would just have, like, a few, even space and capitalization, like, counts in this. So if you have, like, for example, you have shell, I mean, I'm just, you have, like, 
shell. Uh, you can see, can you see my cosmos? But anyway, if you have shell, shell Koopa. I know it's opposite, but and if you there's a space between them, but if you write shell with a with a lowercase s, h, I mean s, the other one is the capital s, and with no space and the lowercase Koopa, it's not gonna work. So just be mind of that. So it's basically, so you might want to just copy and paste every scene everywhere, every everywhere around, so you don't get mixed up with every scene. Uh, now under the tick Koopa shell, red slash green, or tick shell, or whatever you named your custom block, set costume to. Set costume to root costume. Where's my root costume? Then change speed y by one. I mean negative one. Then where's my speed y? I don't have scratch atoms right now because like I was just using like a different computer. Of my move sprite. Then move sprite y to actually move the sprite. And now, you should see if we now like try to dispatch a Koopa. Just gonna show you here. I'm gonna take down the Koopa. Wait, did it? Did it actually turn? And like, wait, did it like? I know it didn't turn into a costume. I'll fix. We will fix that now. I nearly forgot you have to put a root costume to 20 seconds of the tick Goomba over here. So just be mindful of root costume and costume. Now you should see if we step a stomp on the Goomba. Shell time. But you can't actually move the shell. In real Mario, you can actually pick up the shell and throw it around at enemies. That would be cool. That's like a, if you don't have fireball, like fire flower weapon. It would be like a good weapon for fire ranger, ice flower, or gold flower, or any, any flower of old fire. Now if you now you can just like add a whole bunch of Koopas everywhere. I'll just add some Koopas over here to make it a replace that enemy with Koopa. This is a new I was saying too much enemies. I'm gonna replace some enemy I'm gonna actually like make this like a Koopa land. Like every mo every monster is a Koopa. And also just to be sure this like okay, let's get continue going on. I'm not I'm not gonna play this game for hours and hours. Like actually you know like the tick Koopa shell? If you don't do these code you can try and remove it. Don't just don't delete it, just unattach it. You should see that Koopa shell is hanging in the air, and that's not going to be good. If you just want to back in, the Koopa shell gets gravity, and the move sprite Y helps too. So, now Koopa shells, we should like, like, like have, like, move, have them move. So, and then now check if. Frame is less than three. Where's my frame variable? Frame is less than three. Change frame by change frame. I may be like slower today. You know why? You know why? Because because I don't have my scratch add-ons helping me. Where's my frame variable here? Change frame by one. And stop the script. Woohoo! Now we still have to like, like actually like check, like move the Koopa shell. Now check if, if frame equals, just gonna duplicate it, oops, frame equals three. Then another if, checking if not, 
touching Mario. Then stop the script. And then, and then just put it, oh, put it if else. At the very bottom, at in the if frame equals three. And then check if backdrop like and search Mari uh, like less than get a less than operator and check if backdrop up like like what is X of Mario is greater is less X of Mario is less than X like the X variable of the enemy then point in direction 90 if else point in direction negative 90 like that and it and at the very bottom for the change frame by like, change oops change frame by uh, perhaps 0 0.5 set speed x speed x and the speed x here speed x to direction divided by Nine. Now we'll just like if it's ten, if it's ninety, it will do ten speed and and move sprite x as always. Like ninety for ten for right and negative ten for left. That's a divisor by nine. Now let's try to like take down the Koopa, Koopas. Now, oh, look at this. Look at that. Wait, I'm just gonna. I'm actually gonna block off the area. Oh my god. There I go. Can I jump? Can I jump up? To be honest, I'll stop. Thank you. Like, actually, I'll just actually just wait a second. I'll just test if I can actually jump up there. Like, is it possible to stay safe over here? But it's not really possible right now. Just a lid. I'll just reset. And as always, I'll take that Goomba out. And also, I'll actually try to block off the area. Like, a small padding area for the Koopa. Small resting area. Oh, it's, oh my god. With the Koopa. And I can jump on it. And, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't do anything. I'll just jump on it, and I can't kick it. Oh, God, look at this. Oh, my God, look at this. Oh, my God. Just kiss all good, but please. Now I just, I kick the shell with her. I assume it would be good. But we need to make sure that Koopa show actually kills someone, like, at least kills Mario or enemies. Because you don't want like the Koopa shell spinning around and doing nothing. Just distracting you. Okay. Let's actually continue our coding. But we need to add the animation first. And and so that it can like kill us. Kill Mario. Koopa, Koopa shells and piranhas make great team, and they make trash team because Koopa shells kill piranhas while still in their pipe. So that's something to to check. And not good buddies, but they're still good buddies. And now change costume by change like costume.
Change in costume. Where's my costume variable anyway? Change costume by floor. Of mod. Uh, where is mod? Yeah, here. And then frame on the left of the mod. And mod 4. I go to the right. And yeah. If you want to test, you can. And this testing time again. Oh, I actually want to play the first level. Take out the Goomba. Lead the Piranha. Take out the Goomba. Take out the Piranha. Now you see. Oh my god, look at this animating Koopa shell. I can do another one. Look at this. Look at this animating Koopa shell. Can't stop it. Ha ha. There you go, like, I hope I don't die. I want to see these cubes just bit within free space range. And oh, few there's no goombas over there. Can't double dispatch you, good. It's just one more goomba. Yes, I took it out. Are there more goombas up here? Oh my god, oh god, oh god. So yeah, really be careful of different Koopas and yeah, Goombas. They make like quite a team. So now we yeah, add so the Koopa should actually damages the Mario. I mean the Mario. Like and the enemies. So we need a, but Mar that would be straightforward if we just want to touch it, kill Mario. But the other enemies, maybe. So let's not waste time and continue coding. Find the defy. Take Goomba. Oh, where's Take Goomba? They're here hiding. And then scroll down and check if touching Mario over here. So duplicate everything that's from the paint sprite and down. And then just drag, go find, locate the. Oh my god, please. Can you please stop? What did I do? Undo. I, I'm just annoying by the other scripts. I wish I got my scratch add-ons. So, so I can like... Where's my Tick Koopa? Oh, here it is. It's almost there. The whole script, the stack of script, it's almost there. Put it at the very bottom, all the script. Yeah, you got like more script, like two. I already like I got scratch. I got a bit of scratch items on this. I got two thousand two hundred and thirty five blocks. You should have the same, look, or at least like two thousand blocks, like two thousand around two thousand three hundred. Because if you don't, you might be missing episodes, or at least you might be missing code. Then just yeah, I'm just gonna warn you, like the blocks, some like. Like on also episode twenty, so you can check how much in twenty one and twenty two and so on. Matters how much episodes are here are there. So you can connect it down to there, like the bottom, as I did. And now you should, and now remove the bottom checks here. The if Goomba, if type equals Goomba. If type is Goomba, if else, and all sorts. This is this whole script is for the Goombas. Take Goomba on it. Slash Koopas. Slash Green Koopas. That's where Koopa said all sorts. So, yeah. Basically, 
we have to do like so like I just forgot to mention this has to be jumpy on Koopa so we don't need to have type because of Koopa or Koopa Koopa it's a shell and drag everything that's under the set frame to zero and delete the pointed direction and then out and put the set frame to zero everything under the player bounce to five set player bounce is deleted and now see like you should have the script you should have the script now if you want i'm gonna just survive i'm just gonna get easy now there's a like a bug now you can just keep jumping on koopa shells if you can handle the right time see as i did without it we had this bug so that because we like at first like i know like koopas like it's like a jumping challenge basically you can have this in your game if you want but i'm not key having this in my game because like it's like you can actually jump higher because I set player bounds to five. Ha. Huh. Huh. Yep. We added the player die now to enemy die time. Like the Koopa shells are supposed to like kill the enemies. Like actually like, kill the like I meant like destroy, not like the violent grid kill. Destroy the enemy. Like, whatever, Koopas, Piranhas, Goombas, and later even, like, fl flying Goombas, if you can add them. It's, like, similar to the Goombas, but flying. If you can add the flying Koopas and Goombas, you can add the other one, too. There's, like, many... Yeah, basically... We have to now add, like... Stop bouncing it everywhere on the Cooper show. So at the end, if touching Mario and not the or put the Mario on the right and check less than I mean greater than frame greater than fifty. Where's my frame? I mean not frame greater than ten. But I just forgot because for some reason. Wait, what? Oh yeah, change it around. Ha. No Goombas in my path. And jump. Stop. Now I'm just gonna you can't like keep bouncing on Koopa shells. That's not not the case anymore. So you met like if you like like this, just don't add the script I told you. Don't add the like the script I told you, like those scripts. No, it's like Koopa racing time. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, okay. Never mind. Now, like we need to add the Koopa actually killing the enemy, like killing, like destroying it. Remove it from the whole level, no one as we should do. But now, I know like we're taking like, time between scripts, but I'm just gonna tell you what we're gonna add. We're gonna add so that Koopas actually take out the good, bad enemies and and Mario, and never take out power it's like mushrooms, fire flower, and star power, and poison mushrooms and life. Like the the life. Like, uh, like the one ups. Oh, I remember. Like in the game, like Mario the Koopa, like uh, flip enemies upside down. Whereas in actual Mario, you can actually throw Koopas. I'm just gonna give you like an example of a game. I'm just. I'm gonna like get out of my project. Example, not my game, but someone else's. Where's, how do I do it? Oh, yeah. Search Super. If you know this, that's good for you. I bet most people know the Super Mario Maker. 
one, two, three, four, or four. Like now you should see that this game is it's very big. I need turbo work to run it. I'm not gonna run it right now because it's not our goal for today. So yeah, we need it. We must continue. Now let's add, let's add the Koopa killing, whatever it's called. But now go find the wing flag clicked block. I'm just gonna find the wing green flag clicked wherever it is. I'm just gonna switch it to ultra small mode so I can see every block in my hands of wit. Just gonna clean up blocks. Ooh, it's over here. Yeah. Now I'm gonna see. And make a new variable now named visible for this part only. Oops. Visible. And then set visible to. And the other one was fast script. Set visible to. Set visible. Oh. Set visible. It should be down, yeah, down here, visible to the empty value. And now, now locate the define set costume. Whatever it is, where is it? Every time I need to locate something, I just need to, like, without, the, like, the help of scratch add-ons, I can't do anything with it. I can't really do anything. Let me switch this and do some space. And now... Down here, in, in the show, instead of the show, like put the show, instead of the show, put set visible to one. Set visible, oh my god, to one. I'm gonna create clone of myself down there. Duplicate it, duplicate to set visible under, set it back to zero. I mean, empty value, and then. Now locate the define. Take life. And for the show over here. Show over here. Set visible to what? Instead of the show. And now. And now go locate, like, the, I'm going to locate the. Yeah, I should, yeah, we can test. Yeah, but now no enemy will be found. Cool. Very, very, very cool. No Koopa shells for me. That serves right. Anyway, for the enemies. Because they were killing me earlier and they not letting me get the Koopas. I get punished for not killing them also. So yeah, let's make all the enemies. Back to normal. Like put a broadcast and they'll take life. I mean, when I receive, and put when I receive position tiles, or my position tiles, and put an if. If visible is greater than, oops, where's my visible? If visible is greater than zero, show. And now we can see. Go back, click the one green flag, click, and oh no, zombie! I mean, I'm not zombies. Goombas, bye. Goombas, bye. Goombas, you better go my way. I'm not letting you in my path. No Goombas. Okay. We sir. We now we can control actually when we show and hide. So we just don't need to put keep putting show and hide everywhere. That's like. Goombas, invasion, 
like it's like if you like change the goombas to like zombies whatever it's like gonna be a zombie apocalypse because here but koopa's killing zombies uh anyways go back into position tiles i mean go back go locate to define tick and move enemy as it were it just i'm so lucky it's just right here and at Like after the wait, like it might be different for you because I added the if y is less than zero, delete each clone. So when it falls off the edge, it deletes itself. It might be different for you, but know what matters. You can code that up right now. But under the if editor greater than zero or type equals empty value, put an if put an if check. I mean, put a make a new custom block and name it move enemy. Run with that screw you fresh. And now put that everything that's under there into the move enemy and on the top, whether it's the move enemy, put the move enemy block or under. Here, like that, where it came from. Now, put it if uh, there's a move enemy. Checking if equals visible equals one, then hide. I don't think really annoying to see two if that's the same and hide and show whatever. And now we can test. Now things are gonna go different a bit haywire. Now things are actually gonna go hey different. But you can actually see that. Mm, yeah, nothing really changes. Nothing too big. Just we can use the system to code out the cubas. What? I was doing that. So now, that's a really big change. But go locate this and find tick shell. Where is it? Where is it? Where is the tick shell? Where is the tick shell? This? No. Oh, oh, no, no, no. It's not the tick shell. I need to find the tick shell right now. Where's the tick shell? 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 Oh, here it is. Good. Tick shell. Now. Right. Ugh. Like, move down. And then if also, like, if X and Mario is less than X, put a set. Put a set visible to. Set visible to two. Now it's always a deadly enemy. And now it's the very bottom, which is like this place. Like set visible to, like in the under the set set player bounce to five. Put set visible to one. So yeah. Now go locate go into an empty space and drag a when I receive play, move player after enemy. Then if checking if editor is less than what and editor's lesson what was editor very bold editor's lesson one and visible equals one
So an in the if show. And another if under the show. And now continue like any sprite except the enemy. And go to Sentia and then drag out a touching. And put touching enemy. And drag that back in the enemy sprite. And then go to the enemy sprite. Oh yeah, you said the, oh, the touching enemy in the enemy sprite. That's cool. That's so cool. I'm not gonna stop being crazy. Okay. And then put if touching enemy in the if. That might look weird. Then, and if touching enemy, then we simply put delete these clones. So, like, now, lady uh, almost, and then hide after. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now let's see what we have right now. The working Koopa destroyer enemy. Now you should see that our Koopa shell is destroying everything in this path, including the neutral. I'm gonna put two Koopa shells. So it takes out both. Yeah, ha ha ha! It takes out both. Ah, I died. Now it's like, now it's just like a soccer field with the, with the new, with the Koopas, like, spinning around and destroying everything in its path. It's actually working pretty great. Good. So just dislodge the Koopa shell. Ah, oh, anyways. Now let's add some details because when we die, I mean when the enemies die, they don't have like, like they don't have an animation when they die. And we already have the flip block and check clip, like just locate the one check clip and where is the heck, where is the heck is this now? <gasps> I'm not gonna go all the countryside looking for that check flip. Oh my god, look at the fixed collision that point. Check flip is over here. Oh, you. Make a new custom block named Flip now. And run without screen refresh. And put everything that's. And this under speed x set 40 and put it here. Including set speed x here. And put flip in the like the same like flip here. As when we when it where it comes from. Comes from. Now go back into the when I see it's on the bottom over here. When I receive play move play after enemy. Put a flip instead of the delete these clone. Now let's see what we have right now. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. And you know what's gonna be cool. The Koopa shell. Oh look at that. Did you see that? The first Koopa oh my god, look at this like a lawnmower. Like the like grass everywhere. Oh look at this. There t the that 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 just lack Koopa took out like, so much monster like Goombas at least. That was so OP. Oh my god, that was so OP. That was too OP. Like the Okay. I'm gonna just wait to get killed and I stand no chance again against it. This is like a very good Koopas. It's a very good Koopa. Like, like Koopas. 
like the Koopas like really cool right now. They like have like special like like def like modes and all sorts. But just before we end this episode the last thing, like, go to the Mario Sport and drag out check around player at X and Y because the Koopa should get, like, the, there's already the get tile at X and Y in the, the enemy sprite. We haven't been in the Mario Sprite for long. But anyway, just drag it in. We're, the Koopa's supposed to cut coins anyway, so. And just before we do, do we have the sense? Like drag, go to Mario and drag the coin sound in the enemy sprite too. Also, so we have the coin sound, bro. So we can sound it up in here. And now, go to the tick shell. Where's the tick shell? Tick shell is over here. And at the very bottom, put a check around player at X and Y variable. Okay, let's go, let's go. And now, get some coins. Wait, can we? Ha ha, we got two coins by the Koopa Shell. That was so amazing, that's so good. Well, this leads us to another end of the tutorial. If you, if you like it, please smash the like button. And stay tuned for the channel to more, you, you to more, to view more games, tutorial, and all sorts, like, whatever so just like this video also it will, it really helps out when i get like lots of subscribers so i can make like better videos and new tutorials so you guys can code it up so well bye guys see you next time <laughs>